Hello, David. How are you? Hello, David. I'm fine. And you? Okay. I'm doing pretty good. How was your weekend, David? Well, it's good. I think it's good. I'm mm -hmm. sorry because I'm in the car right now. We are not uh, get home yet, but... Oh, okay. That's why it's so dark. But you are not driving. Oh, yes, David. Yes, but it's okay. I'm... I'm just acabo de llegar a la casa. Ah, okay, okay, no okay. problem. Then you can disconnect or connect in a moment. No problem. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Hello, Flor, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Flor. How was your weekend, Flor? My weekend was a little bit tired, like always, because... I always stay at home doing chores. I don't have any free time for me, teacher. No. Do you have no. children, Floor? Yes, I have two. Two children. Uh, How old yes. are your children, Floor? Um, my first daughter, she she is six years old, and my little baby is six months. Mm. yes when they are very small it's very difficult it's a lot of work yes, yes there is no I don't rest almost nothing and uh, both of them are girls Flor no the first one is girl the second is boy ah okay ah so the the oldest one is the girl yes okay that's good. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, I see we have a couple more people connected. That's excellent. So David, Xiomara, Gisela, and Hector. Uh, I know David is going into his house in this moment. Xiomara, uh, how about you? How are you? How do you feel, Xiomara? Good evening. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, today was a long day for me. I have been working about in hours. I left work at 7 p.m. Just came, I took my dinner, a little of rest, and I'm here. <laughs> okay. So, Mara, what time do you begin working? In this... Today, what time did you begin Hi, to work? What time? Yes. Uh, I have a new schedule for this 15 uh, from 9 to 7. 9 to 7? Yes. Okay. Mm, a little tired because only you go home. You have your dinner, eh, change your clothes, relax, and connect to the class. I cover uh, I schedule uh, two hours uh, for a colleague. Uh, me, can you can you check your microphone, please? Yes, thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, and cover is a pair of hours from my colleague, uh, she's sick, and another colleagues are covering also uh, some hours about this colleague. Mm. For that reason. Okay, that's why. Okay, good. Hey, well, you're a good colleague. That way you help each other. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, my supervisor told us, I, I don't know. It's no volunteer, huh? It's no, it's no volunteer. It's, <laughs> it's obligation. No volunteer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. All right, guys. Well, it's great to have you here. I really appreciate it. Carla, Alicia, um, are you a gamer? No. <laughs> yes. No. No. Okay. I asked Carla because your headphones are like for the gamers. They're like, and I thought, oh, 
Carla finish the class and play Fortnite or play Rainbow Six or something like that? Because no. No, I gained the, the headset. <laughs> ah, okay. Only the headsets. It's not for the video games. No, only you you saw the headset and you say, hey, que bonita se ven. And then, and then you went for those, yes? They look nice. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to continue with information from last week just to help us review. This was the structure of the present perfect continuous. Do you remember a little bit about the present perfect continuous? Yes, teacher. Tell me, why do we use it? How do we use it? When when the the action is continuing in the future. Okay. Okay. Good. So very nice. Remember this present perfect and present perfect continuous. Both are actions that started in the past. The difference is present perfect is action only for experience, no time experience in the past. Present perfect continuous is start in the past, but we continue today and probably continue to the future. We're going to watch a small video from last week to help us remember a little bit before doing the exercises again. Why are you tired? What have you? Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of this tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Okay. So if we remember, now that we took a look at the video, is for actions that started in the past and continue. The most important part Our, was I've been structures. Here are some examples. Always we use have or has. Remember, he, she, it, has, both been, and then the verb in ing. That is the structure that we have in this moment. He, she, it, has, been, ing. I, you, we, they, have, been, ing. It's okay. Do you remember how to use the present perfect continuous?
Yes, teacher. Yes, ah, teacher. okay. All right. I think maybe yes. No, no. Okay, perfect. So now we have an exercise. We have 2.9. Okay. Here, we're going to be looking at several different conversations. With your partner, we're going to take a few moments and make sure that it's clear. And we're going to try. Okay. Um, ah, okay. No problem. So, hang on. Let me just change something so that we can have another thing. That way I can see, that way I don't get confused. Okay. Okay, so let's make our groups with our partners. We're gonna try to answer the questions. 2.9, choose the best answer that you feel comfortable with, okay? So you read with your partners and you select the best one. Ready? Okay, let's do it. Nelly, are you okay? Flor, Ada? Ada, Flor? Okay, let me check. But if you can, we can check it. Okay. I don't know if, if someone can uh, share the page. Uh, I have it. Uh, um, have it in the computer. Um, the class I'm receiving in, in the phone, I can't, I can't share. Okay. Okay. Let me see. But if you, if you, uh, What have you? What have? What have? This is the first one would be only a first a person perfect is right, and the second option is a perfect continuous. Yes, be okay. doing, be doing. Okay, that's right. And letter B. The first, uh, the first option is a present continuous, present perfect continuous. Yeah, have been spending. Uh, yes, and this just one choice. And the uh, another. The little, little letter A again. The first. The yes. first option would be a present perfect. Yeah. Present perfect, the first. And the second? The second. Present continue. Present, present perfect. Present continue. Yes. Have Be you been working? 
Are you been working part time this year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And letter B. Yes, I. I have. Yes. Have. I then, have been. I have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. And the three and the four auction. Okay. The letter A again. How? Have. 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 Yeah. Yes. The another been feeling because he's actually doing this. How have you been feeling recently? The other one, great. I I've I've been I've been getting a lot of sleep. A, a lot of sleep. He estado teniendo mucho sueño, digamos yeah. así. And I haven't been hearing. Yes. The another one. Letter A again. It's a question. But we have to return to our classes. <laughs> See you there. It's very hard completed the part. Okay. It's great. I see that we completed with our partners. Let's take a look and make sure we are correct. Number one, uh, who would like to do number one? Me. Okay, please. Okay. Bye. What have you been doing lately? Okay. So have and been doing. Okay. Number two, who's number two? Yes. Um, well, have been spending my free time at the beach. Okay. Have been spending. Okay. Good. The next one. Me. Please. Have you been working part time this year? Okay. Have been working. Good. The next one. Yes, I have. I have been making drinks at coffee time for the last few months. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. The next. How? How have you been recently? No, how have you been feeling? It been feeling. Okay, okay, good. Recently. Recently. Mm -hmm. The next one? Yes, I, I've been getting a lot of sleep and I haven't been eating as much since I start. Okay, good. The next? Have you been getting enough exercise late? Okay, been getting. Okay, good. And the last one? No, I haven't. I have I've been studying a lot a lot for a big Sam. Okay, let's take a look. Very nice. Okay, so we have all of our answers. We can check. All of them are excellent. Very good. Take a look at all of those. Okay. Everything that we chose was correct. How do we know? 
super easy. Always we're going to use have and the verb in the past participle. But if we use been, we're going to use the verb with ing. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay, teacher. Okay, great. I see we're getting better at it. Let's take a look at the next one. Here, we're just going to do a little bit of reading. So we're going to read together to make sure that we understand. And then you're going to answer with your partners. We have three. The topic is child prodigies. Child prodigies. Okay. Can you see the article or it's too small? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Perfect. I need three people to read. One to read the first, the second, and the third. Me. First one. Okay. We have the first one, the second one, and I think I see Nelly, the third one. Okay. Who is read? Who will read the second? Um, the second I think was Yomara, and you were the first. I don't know. <laughs> First, okay. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Other musicians have described Sarah Chan as the most wonderful, per perfect violinist they've ever heard. What makes this praise especially surprising is Sarah's age. She's only in her 20s, and people have been describing her this way since she was a child. On a Sarah's fourth birthday, her father gave her a violin. By age five, she was accepted at the famous Juilliard School, mm -hmm. School of Music in New York City by eight. She was performing as a violin sol solist with major orchestras. Since then, Sarah has performed around the world and recorded many albums. Okay, good. Thank you. The next, number two. Before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He's been proving them wrong ever since. By the time he was born, Four month old. Michael could say full sentences like, What's for dinner, mom? By 10 months, he could read words. Studying at home with his parents, Michael completed four grade levels each year. At 10, he graduated from college with honors. And at 14, he received a master's degree. Now in his late teens, he is teaching and working on his PhD. PH B. No, no, only PhD. Ah, PhD. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you very much. And the last one. When Alexandra Nechita was two, her parents gave her some crayons and coloring books. Alexandra was soon working in inks, watercolors, and by the time she was seven, oil paints. At eight, Alexandra had her first artist exhibit. Now, a young adult, Alexandra is one of the most recognized artists in the world. Her paintings are often compared of those of Picasso and other great artists. They have sold for as much as 80,000. She has been on TV many times, and several books of hair paintings have been published. Thank you very much. Good. Any words you don't know? Any words were not clear? Nelly, only the last word, the pronunciation is published with T, published. Okay. Good. And the other words? Any other words from the other paragraphs? Mm -hmm. 
It's okay. Teacher? Yes. Yeah. I, what it mean? PhD. A doctor. In the, in the, excuse me. Doctor. It's okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So ten, the college, the degree, fourteen the masters, and now after the masters, the doctor, the PhD. Any other questions or words? It's clear, teacher. All right. Now, what are you going to do with your partners? You have to answer five questions. Super fast, not very long, only five questions because we already did the reading. We're going to have just three minutes with our partners to answer the five questions. One moment. Let me make a little bit bigger the groups. Mm. And here. Okay. Are you okay? Hello? Okay, let me know if you have any problems, Ala. Two. Yeah. This is all we need to do. It. Yeah, sorry guys that I didn't participate that I don't I can't see the okay questions. but we, we can read the question another. Another time. Yeah, another time because right, right now I can't, I don't can use in my phone. It's very difficult. Okay. Try. Okay. Siomara, you ready? Yes. Okay, Siomara, number one. Number one. How do other musicians describe Sara? The first one, the most wonderful, perfect violins. Okay, good. Number two, Carla. Hmm? 
school gave Sara her first violin, her father. Okay, good. Nelly, number three. Julia is school of music. Okay. Number four, David. Might have learning the fifth the difficult it is the difficult times. I don't know. Okay, one more time. He might have learning difficulties. He might have learning difficulties. Good. Thank you very much. Gisela, number five. Whose work has Alexandra's been compared to? Picasso's. Okay. Very nice. Let's take a look so we can double check. There. All of the answers that we selected were correct. Yeah. Any questions? No, no. No? Wonderful. This means that we completed section two and we are ready to begin section three. Remember, this week we are going to complete section three and we're going to do the exam on Thursday. So in section three, let's take a look at what we're going to begin with. Hector, what is today's objective? Yes, in this class, participants will list Listen to conversation where participle has adjective are used in a context. Good. So participles, we're going to learn what those are. These are verbs with ing or the verbs with ed. And we're going to learn how to use them correctly in conversations. Nice to have you back with us. So, can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay. So here we're going to identify a couple of the things. We have many different descriptions, right? We have a lot of verbs with ing, and we have some with ed. When we talk about the things, we use ing. That's the idea. Those are the participles. We have present participle and past. Present participles are these with ing, and past participles are the same in the past tense. Okay. Let's see if we understood. Um, Flor, when do we use ing? When do we use the verbs with ing, the present participles? We, are, we use those kinds of verbs in present perfect continuous. In a, we make an action that we haven't finished yet. We continue doing that. In the past week. Okay, Flor, thank you very much. Remember, ing in this case is not present perfect, it's only a description. Like beautiful, intelligent, wonderful, interesting. These are the adjectives. Adjectives describe. With ing, we describe the things. With ed, we can describe people or are emotions. Let's look at the rest of the video and see what else we can learn. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. 
It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Okay. So what happens in the second part of the conversation? Uh, Carol called to the movie theater to ask about the movie from of Ellie Berry. Good. And what does the movie theater say? That the movie is, uh, ends uh, one day ago. Hey, exactly. That's it stopped playing one day before. Exactly. That's the idea. So now we know how to describe things using ED and ING. Okay. These are the present participles, ING, past participles, the ED. Now we're going to make sure that we understand the difference. Okay. But we're getting the idea. Present participles, ING, past participles, ED. Okay, we're going to learn how and why we use different ones. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two, I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Okay, so before we watch all of the video, are you understanding the difference between present and past participles? Yes, it's so clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Remember, what is the different function? ING, describe the things. ED, describe how you feel, right? For example, the movie Fast and Furious was exciting. I felt excited. This is the difference. ING, the things. ED, the people. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. 
We took the verb excite and we turned it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ed equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Okay, so this part we're going to do with our partners. I'm going to take a picture and send it to the group, but you want to use the vocabularies there to complete it. What do you think is the correct answer? It's okay? Yes. All right, perfect. Uh, you can check in the platform, in the platform, or you can check in the WhatsApp group. This is going to be 3.3. 3.3, which is the correct one. Let me just put it into it, and I'll send it in a moment. And right now, we'll make our groups. Go. Okay. Okay, let's try. I had a <clears throat> I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my tickets cost ten dollars. I was really disgusted. I think mm -hmm. because it's. Really is referring yeah, because he's talking the causes uh -huh. I, I was really disgusted Disgust. by the price <clears throat> mm -hmm. by me by mistake i gave the cashier a five dollar bill instead of a ten i was a little embarrassed i think he embarrassed, embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Then there was trash all over the theater. The mess was. Annoying can be. Annoying. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's not persons, it thinks. The mess was annoying. The people behind, behind me talked. During the movie, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. It's not annoying. The mess was. The second one. 
By mistake, by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a five bill instead of a ten. I was a little I was a little embarrassed. Embarrassed? Porque eran diez dólares y ella le dio cinco por equivocación. O sea, estaba. Casi no se le escucha, Xiomara. O no sé si soy yo. Xiomara, casi no se escucha. Es embarrassed because uh, she was giving the cashier five dollars and it was ten, so she was a little embarrassed. Yes, because the mistake, right? Mm -hmm. Then yeah. three, there was trash all over the theater. Embarrassed. The, theater. Embarrassed. the mess was. Disgusting. Mm. Disgusting. Embarrassed. Mm. Disgusting. No. But embarrassed is with ED, Carla. Yes. Embarrassing. Yes. Embarrassing. Then there was trash. All over the other. The man's was disgusting. Okay. The mask was disgusting. Disgusting. Casi no se te escucha, Xiomar. No sé por qué será. <risa> por se te viene y se te va la, el sonido. Y algo está mal aquí, pero no sé no, qué se es. Escucha bien. No problem. Ah. No problem. Right now it's okay. Bye. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's try together. Make sure that we have the correct ideas. Okay. So, I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really... Embarrassed. Mm. Annoyed? No. I know. <laughs> yeah. Shopping. Yes, I was a little, but look, no, no, uh, ing. I was a, I was really shocked with ed. I was really shocked by the price. Okay. Mm hmm. With ed. <laughs> with ed. Remember, shocked is like surprised. Mm -hmm. Shocked is like surprised. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill uh, instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassing. Okay, but no ing, ed. Remember, I always uh, yes. ED. I was a little embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there was trash all over the theater. Okay. The mess was disgusting. Correct. Disgusting, right? The people behind me talk during the movie, which was annoying. Correct. ING. It was annoying. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too amazing. No, it's difficult. Oh, sure. No, it's the story was hard to follow, was difficult to understand. It was confusing. Correct. Uh-huh. 
the thrillers, I find, I always find thrillers too confusing. And I like the special effects though. They were amazing. Amazing. There you go. Excellent. That's the idea between ED and ING. It's okay? Yes. Yes? Good. So we have, you remember, ED for you, ING for the things. This is the most important. ED for you, ING for the things. So right now we're going to discuss and think about it, okay? Emotions. What kind of things do you like and why? What kind of books, movies, or series do you like and why? Mm -hmm. Tell me, what kind of books, movies, and series do you like? I love the sound of music. The sound of music. Oh, why? Because I I love the music. It's my passion. Ah, okay. Perfect. So, similar like this, you want to ask your partners, okay? We're going to talk with our partners. You can see that we have in the what's in the chat we have the name, the link. You got it? Did you open the link? No, teacher. No? Hang on, let me put one more time. Let me try to send again in the chat. It's in the chat or no? Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, perfect. So with the partners, you have some questions you can ask and answer, and we're going to try to get it. Okay. Let's try ask and answer and explain why or why not. Use the details. So for example, number one, what kind of music do you like? Oh, I like pop music because I feel very, very relaxed when I listen to it. I enjoy listening, especially to songs like Dua Lupa or, and then you explain, okay? So answer okay. with your partner and let's try. Ala, you ready? We're going to try again. Yamara, you okay? Yamara? No connect. Gabriel? Well, my favorite performance is oh, by church. Um, because... What kind of music do you like? The king of the music and 
Henry. In Spanish. Okay. And romantic music. Me too. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you, Gisela? Uh, Okay. okay. Yeah. Don't you like? Ah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Can you name some singers of groups that you dislike? Yes. For example, I dislike the singers that are nowadays. They sing just reggae, reggaeton. I don't like those type of bands or singers because okay. all the music is, they don't have nothing positive in our life. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Yes, I like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and you, do you like movies? Yes, I like movies. I like to watch um, action movies, especially action okay. movies, my favorite. Okay, okay. Um, uh -huh. It's the same, the other question. Yeah. What are your, your favorite kind of pro? It's for the, the best. It's the best music. The other countries because they sing very the well. The music here just yes, works for dancing in on, in the parties, but for singing, the best are the from another countries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of music do, don't you like? But music, I, I, I don't like the 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 reggaeton music. Ranchera. <laughs> I don't like uh, the reggaeton. Yeah, the reggaeton music and the and the. No. Okay. Okay, very good idea. Uh, we are answering the questions. Okay. Good, I see we are back. It's very good for answering the questions and getting the ideas. Remember, it's important to practice more description. It's not enough, I like action movies. It's not enough, I don't like perreo. It's no, you need to explain why. Why do you like action movies? Why do you like perreo or you don't like perreo why is your favorite actor the important is practice description the important is describing right you have to imagine you are trying to convince the person to watch or not to watch or listen or not to listen to the activity so you need to explain why not necessary for your partner to ask you okay tomorrow we're going to continue today is our first introduction for using adjectives but tomorrow we're going to practice describing a little bit more okay okay teacher okay teacher thank you so much have a great night thank you for connecting thank you bye bye bye, bye. bye. yeah